Hey, Eric. We have a bakery that needs to get their products from the oven in the basement to the store on the second floor. Do you think we have anything that could help them? Sure. Let's head down to the floor to see an example of a Spirex we built in the past. So okay. that'll work. Perfect. Oh, that's perfect. I need to get the materials ordered. What do I need to know to order the conveyor belt? Let's take a walk over here and we'll figure it out. Here's the floor plan that Bob sent me. The Spirex needs to go from the basement to the second floor. Because the product needs to cool, it'll need to go around at least five times and it cannot be any wider than six feet. Great. We have a Spirex that has five and a half turns, is 144 inches tall, and has a radius of 24 inches. Don't forget the belt return, which is how the belts get from the top to the bottom. We started by figuring out the circumference of the turns. Circumference multiplied by five and a half turns plus the height of the Spirex for the belt return, which equals 144 inches tall, gets you 973.38 inches. Then you add another 144 inches for the infeed and the discharge of the Spirex, which is how the product comes in and leaves the Spirex. This gets you a total of 1,117.38 inches. Great, I'll get 94 feet of belt on order. Sounds good.